Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to solve question number 5 in Kilashal CK80 exam simulation. So, uh, we want to connect to this instance, so we don't, we are not doing it because we are already connected and we are, I mean, so far we are all, uh, always working with the same instance of the host. Uh, let's jump to the question. So, Team Neptune has its own service account named Neptune-SA-V2 in namespace Neptune. A coworker needs the token from the secret that belongs to the service account. And write the base64 decoded token to the file at this location on this mission. Okay, let's uh, inspect uh, the service account. First, we have to inspect the service account and then find out what is the secret uh, it's using to uh, you know mount uh, the the token um, and then we have to decode usually all the secrets will be uh, in a form of a uh, base64 encoded format we have to decode and then store it into this location so let's inspect get a look at service account um, in Neptune namespace so we have default and Neptune SAV2 um, service accounts in this one. So as the question already says, it has its own service account, which means we know for a fact that it's it's not default because the default namespace um, uses one. And so in the Neptune namespace, we have this Neptune uh, SAV2. Now let's inspect what uh, secret it is using um, for uh, the tokens. So let's let's describe um, the namespace in the namespace neptune let's describe the service account which is neptune sav2 oh so tokens it clearly says this is the token it's trying to use neptune secret one let's uh, now inspect uh, the secrets keep it little get secrets um, in the Neptune namespace to see if it is already there. So we have two secrets and we know for uh, by inspecting the service account we know for a fact that it's using Neptune secret one. Uh, let's now try and get it. Kubectl get secrets in the Neptune namespace and we are interested in this one. And um, let's try to use um, the output as print uh, the output as JSON path. Okay, JSON path equals print everything in a JSON. Usually it will be in a dot, uh, I mean the data section of it. So let's try and pipe into JQ, which is uh, pretty print uh, the JSON. So we have ca.crt namespace and then token here. Um, so these utilities like, you know, JQ, YQ will come pre-installed on the simulator environment, plus the exam, the real exam uh, environment will also have these tools uh, preloaded. Uh, so you don't, you need not have to worry about installing this. So that comes in handy. So by inspecting the secret, we know that ca.crt is there, namespace is there, uh, token three, it, the, the secret does have three values. And uh, our interest is uh, more on the token. Let's now try and print just the token. So we don't, we don't need the JQ because so it's 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 now trying to print the token from uh, whatever I have highlighted in this section. It's already printing the entire thing. So we we now have the command. But the other thing is, all these secrets by default will be base64 encoded. Let's now try and base64 decode it. And this is the token that we are interested in. And we have to now write this token to this file, which we can do by simply redirecting it uh, to this file it's done uh, 
let's open the file to ensure the content is already there it is so this concludes uh, the question number five and if you have uh, enjoyed watching this video then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe thanks for watching see you again in the next um, video